朋友们，大家好。Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Singer Dad Reacts. My name is Josh, and I'm here to do a reaction to Hua Chenyu. Thank you to all of you that have been so patiently waiting for my uh, reaction to Hua.、Uh, I've I've loved the songs that I've seen him perform to this point. I'm excited to do a reaction of Fake Monk. It's one of the ones that many of you have said is one of your favorites, and that you really wanted me to go and check out.、Um, so as I do with all of my reactions, I've done a little research here on this song. It was originally written by、uh, Kui Zhang. Hopefully, I pronounced that right.、Um, and I found this article in Facebook that kind of talks about the song, and、uh, also Hua Chenyu and his take on it. It says, in Buddhism, monks are usually wanderers withdrawn from the world for their practices in search of enlightenment. They have strong faith, but are generally loners who are not understood by the society. The title of the song "Fake Monk" suggests a loner who has not found his or her path. Hua Chenyu talked about his original intent in an interview. He said that it is a rather personal expression of his childhood struggles with loneliness. He wanted to use this kind of negative expression to call for attentions to lonely children who may refuse care and love from the outside, but are eager for them inside. So this ties in with some of the reactions that I've done of Hua,、um, such as Dad, I'm home, and Child, where he kind of、um, channels that same. Childhood、uh, loneliness that he had, and some of what he experienced、um, growing up, and and how that's kind of formed who he is. And I really admire him for wanting to give back to a lot of the children that might be in the similar situation, who could be dealing with these feelings of loneliness.、Um, I think that's really admirable and and mature of him to. To want to do that through his music, so with that, let's go through the lyrics.、Um, as I've done with many of my lyrics, I got these lyrics、uh, from Lyric Translate, which many of you have recommended. So I hope that they're accurate here. They read, "I wander from south to north. I also wander from day to night. I want everyone to notice me, but not knowing who I am." If you know that I am tired, please give me a bowl of water. If you have fallen in love with me, please give me a kiss. I have these feet and legs. I have traveled from mountains to oceans. I want to have all of everything, but not hate and regret. Don't regret to fall in love with me. One day I will leave without a trace. I would not stay in one place. Also, don't want to be followed. Don't want to be followed. Don't regret to fall in love with me. One day I will leave without a trace.、Uh, go, it repeats itself. I only want to see your beauty, but don't want to know your suffering. I want the elixir from the heaven, but not your tears. I wander from south to north. I also wander from day to night. I want everyone to notice me, but not knowing who I am. Yeah, I think the line that stands out the most to me from this, that kind of talks about Hua Chenyu's approach to the lyric, is the one that says, "If you have fallen in love with me, please give me a kiss." Because if it's a person that really could care less whether someone shows love or affection to them, then they wouldn't be asking for a kiss, right? They wouldn't say, "Please give me a kiss."、Um, that line says a lot as far as if you love me. Show that affection toward me. I do want that affection, even though I may not outwardly show it. So that that one really stands out to me. It's kind of representing what what、uh, Hua said about the song. So without further ado, let's jump into this. The YouTube version that I chose here is one. Those of you familiar with my channel will recognize what I'm doing here. I've found one that has English. Subtitles number one, so that is very helpful. 
Number two, it also shows the interview before the song. I love to do this, and I did a lot of uh, the ones for Dimash. I did the same thing. And that's, I love to be able to get insights into the performer, the artist, and and really listen to what they have to say. And what I'll do here, for those that are not familiar with my channel, what you'll see me do here, and I'll explain why I do it, I'm going to read the English subtitles when it, they're being spoken. And why I do that is when YouTube does the auto-translate into English subtitles of my video, then if I read it, that will get translated. And when I translate that into the 15 other languages, then you will be able to know what is being said on this video in your own language, those of you watching from different countries. So that's why I read the uh, English subtitles uh, during these parts of the video. So just wanted to explain that. Also, for those that are new to my channel, or if you haven't already, if you could please subscribe, click on that notifications bell there to be notified of any of my new reactions. I would appreciate that. I am going to try to, you know, get more reactions out. I'm going to try to do two or three tonight and then get those posted, um, you know, this weekend and maybe do a couple more. So just try and get back into it. I know I've been not doing that many reactions lately. So... Thank you again for your patience. Hua Chenyu, the fake monk. When I was little, because my parents were busy with work, I grew up alone. As a result, I didn't like coming into contact with other people. The most important relationship a child could have is with those who feed him, his parents. But if his parents are hardly ever by his side, he'll come to believe that if he can't even receive love from those he's supposed to most trust, how could he possibly receive love from anyone else? All of these factors will make you undoubtedly longing for someone to love you. But you'll still reject the people around you. It actually is very painful. I first wrote music to vent out my feelings. I would sit in a room by myself, ravingly playing the piano and ravingly singing. It was immensely pleasing, but I wouldn't let anyone hear a thing. Because I've personally experienced this inner turmoil and self-conflict before, I want to use those feelings to express this song. These lyrics strongly resonate with me, so the time I spent rearranging the song was pretty painful because I had to keep on recalling my bad memories from the past. I've added some elements of screaming, the audience may find it disconcerting, but in truth, screaming is a final struggle. When there's no one else caring for me, I must save myself. But I was lucky and was able to receive lots of love later on, so much that I was able to escape from all that. Let's welcome the next singer. So I'm using a form of reverse methodology for the audience to realize that if you know someone like this, you need to try to approach them. I'm sure that deep inside, they need love. He's not wearing shoes today. Ho <laughs> Zen and Ho Chinyu both wore robes, but they look. One of them is a scholar, the other is a celestial being.
Wow. So this is one of the things I've loved about uh, Hua is that he really is good at the telling the story, right? And I've talked about other artists that do the same types of things. And that is, they're masters at changing the texture of their voice. So just like with him, he starts off, he's singing comfortably in his chest voice, and, and then he kind of quiets it down a little bit, and then toward the very end of the phrase, he goes into a whisper. He's not afraid to do things like that, where in the, like the song, Dad, I'm Home, he speaks quite a bit in the song. So he's not afraid to kind of bring the power of the message of the lyric through different means, through different timbres, through different styles, through, you know, different vocal approaches, just like with the the head voice that he, he jumps into his high head voice there. And what you hear him doing, it's almost, um, he's almost kind of like changing the way that the sound comes through, like, wow, you know, you hear kind of some of that happening with the way that he's moving his mouth and changing the the presentation of the sound through his vocal mechanism to just give it kind of this um, uh, electronic almost type effect, siren type thing. Um, so I'm going to rewind it real quick and let, let, hear that again. But that's interesting what he did there with, with that high part. See how his mouth is opening and closing and changing. He's changing the shape of the vowels. And now he's back now. doing there with his hand like this this is part of what he does he's kind of creating because if you're a child then you have kind of this you might have this gesture right and then you see the pleading look in his eyes when he's singing this part of the song do give me a kiss you know it's that part that i mentioned in the beginning of the of the reaction this is the part where it's like if you do love me please show me affection right so he's trying to show that through the way that he presents it it's beautiful. So much feeling and emotion and deep thought that he puts into each of his performances. For such a young artist, it's amazing. If you've already fallen in love with me, do give me a kiss. See how he's pointing to his lips? It's like a child. Sorry to stop it there. So the thing that stood out to me about the wow, how he does the that section where he was in his head voice, he made it sound almost like a child crying or crying out. That's what I kind of heard in my head was this child like crying out for love 
you know, putting their voice out, petitioning for that love. That's kind of what I heard in the way that he did that. Um, it's very powerful. And now he's kind of coming through with 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 the power with you know these pleadings and requests with a little more power so it's like the crying and the, so there's different aspects of what a child goes through in different kind of phases in their loneliness and and uh, the things that they're going through as part of this experience in their lives right that he can sing to and, and understands let me go back just a little bit here you hear how it's kind of like a cry and he's got his hand up here This is almost kind of striking out. I'm going to be far away. You won't be able to love me anymore. Wow. Oh, breath control. He's doing it again. Oh. little reverb effect there that's awesome He's an amazing artist. He really is. I love how this almost kind of reminds me of the reaction I did of Aurora through the eyes of a child, right? Because she kind of channels something similar where she's t she's really channeling that inner child and and making a petition that we should not you know, lose sight of that and, and you should still try to look through the eyes of a child. And I think this is a little different in that Hua is speaking to the children, but I think in a lot of ways he's speaking to those, the, the parents as well of children and saying, love these children. Don't put them out. Don't cause them to be lonely. Spend time with them. And I think that's something that's really needed today in our society. And children really need their parents to love them and to appreciate them and to compliment them and encourage them and and just unconditionally care for them. So props to Hua. I mean, this is this is amazing. Vocally, it's just his breath control, as I've seen with like with Nanping Bell, right? I mean he has amazing breath control and he can just go to different parts of his voice with very minimal effort and the other thing that I want to give him props for so I play the piano a little bit and growing up I kind of learned you know how to do mostly classical type piano and so um, at one point someone at my church found out I played and they were like oh you can accompany 
when a group is singing or whatever. And so I was like, well, I don't know about that. And so I uh, accompanied for the first time. Number one, being a singer, accompanying is hard because then, you know, you're thinking about the singing part. So for him to be able to to play and sing and do what he's doing with accompanying himself on the piano, I mean, that's he's very, very talented to be able to do that. It's much harder than a lot of people realize. So I'm loving this. Let me go back just a little bit. See also right there, he's very good about like on these long sustains, he opens his mouth, which allows the sound to come through and it's really a good vocal practice to do that. You can see how people are moved by his performance. It's a true test of the power of the performance. See that? Yeah. There's Tengri. Did you hear that? So at the very end there, he had like a little bit of the um, growl, a little growl there to his tone. And then he just kind of ended it with little some other little outburst there, but that's part of what he does. He just changes it up. He's not like this traditional, oh, I'm singing notes and I'm just going to sing notes, you know, through the course of the song. He adds these other little elements that make it completely unique and add just very original, rare texture to the story he's telling. So it's awesome. <laughs> again. That was something special for sure. Um, I think one of the reasons that I love Hua Hua and uh, so many others do is he's all about the story. Whatever he has to do 
to bring the power, the message, the emotion of the song in question, he will do it. Just like I talked about during my reaction, right? He's doing the he's doing the high pitched kind of crying out, that pleading that he added to the to the vocal. He's doing the whisper. He's doing the screams that he did toward the end there. And then where he just stops. And you think, oh, is the song over? But it's not. And he pauses. He's not in any hurry to get back to playing. He's not uncomfortable with the silence that's that's just looming over him um, during that moment where he's kind of collapsing onto the keyboard type thing. And you can see, if you watch the people in the crowd, you can see them, their jaws drop. They are just looking at him, wondering what's going on. And the power of what he's singing is, is hitting them. The power of the emotion behind it and what he's experienced and what he's trying to give back to the children and to those who may be in this situation where they have loneliness in their life or they have children that might be lonely. He's trying to give this message to them to bring power to the words that he's singing and performing. And it hit me hard, you know. I had a pretty rough childhood, if I'm being honest. Um, you know, my parents got a divorce when I was about 14 years old. And, you know, um, I had to kind of help my mom care for my younger siblings. And and uh, so, yeah, they, it, there were some rough times. And I can appreciate his message and what he's trying to do here because of some of what I went through. Um, and many people have been worse off. Um, I have two loving parents, and um, there have been many that have had much worse. But I love what he did there and how he really tried to make this a powerful, unique stirring performance he's he's such a mature uh, driven artist for his age i'm so excited to see like what he does over the years because if he's this good and brings this much power at this young age then <laughs> you know imagine what he can do in 20 years you know um, so yeah, uh, as you could probably see from my reaction, right around the time that he kind of collapsed on the keyboard, I could, I was just feeling it and, uh, it really touched me in a deep way. And, um, so I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful to have gained something from this performance. And that's really what it's all about. And that's part of why I love this channel and I enjoy interacting with each of you out there and I love to see your comments and your take on my reactions and on and on the artists. It it means a lot to me and I consider you friends and that's why I open my reactions the way that I do in the language of the artist. And hopefully I did okay on the on the Chinese today. Um you can let me know in the comments. But I just want to close with what I normally close my reactions with. And it ties right in with Hua Chen Yu and the message that he delivered in this performance. And that is, you are special. You are loved. And you can accomplish your dreams. You need to know that. Regardless of what situation you're in in your life right now. If you're feeling lonely, isolated, um like you're not worth much, or whatever those feelings are, you need to know that you are special. And you can be happy. And people love you. And the tough times will pass. And I found, for me at least, when I'm going through times like that, what helps me is if I reach outside of myself and I serve others. 
and I strive to love others. And what happens is that naturally gets returned to me when I do that. And so that for me has helped me in times where I've been lonely. And of course, I could talk about my beliefs in God as well and uh, prayer and all of that, but I won't go into that. But um, I would suggest that as well. Whatever higher power you believe in or whatever you have faith in that gives you hope, um, turn to that um, and be happy, be healthy. Um, so that's what I have today. Again, thank you to those uh, who have been waiting patiently for my, my next uh, Hua reaction. I hope you enjoy it. And please continue to give me suggestions for other Hua Hua reactions that I can do uh, in the near future. And if you haven't already, if you could please subscribe. Um, click on the notifications bell there to support the channel. I also have a... Um, a store out there with apparel. I just ordered some actually, so I'll be able to kind of wear it hopefully for some of my reactions coming up and show you kind of what it looks like. Um, but it has at the center on the chest, it says music lights the world. So that's my logo and you should see it up here actually. And um, I just, the reason I chose that message is if people can wear that and that can catch fire, then we can help others to have light in their lives through the power of music. And that's my goal. So anyway, thank you again for all of your support and take care.